Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find out the majority element in an array. So let's see. So this is the array and we have to find out the majority element. Okay. So let's see what is a majority element. So an element is a majority element if the number of occurrences of that element is greater than n by 2 where n is the size of the array. So let's see here. Suppose this is the array and n is the size of this array. So what is n? So let's count the size. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 is the size of this array. n is equal to 11. Okay. Now you have to count the number of occurrences of each element in this array. And then the element whose occurrence is greater than n by 2 means 11 by 2. Now 11 by 2 is 5. Okay. Let's count the occurrences of each element. The number of occurrences. C. So the element 1 is occurring only one time. So 1 is occurring one time. Then 2 is occurring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 times. So these are the occurrences. So 6 times. Then 4 is occurring 2 times. And 3 is occurring 2 times. Okay. So this means that the element 2 is the majority element in this array. Because it occurs 6 times and 6 is greater than 5. Now let's look in this array. So here 6 occurs 2 times. Then 3 occurs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Then 2 occurs 2 times. 1 occurs 1 time. Okay, no other element is there. So in this array, there is no element which occurs more than n by 2 times. See, 3 is occurring 5 times. But 5 is not greater than 5. 5 is equal to 5. But in the majority element condition, the number of occurrences should be greater than n by 2. So, this array doesn't have any majority element. Now, in an array, there can be at most one majority element or no majority element. Means there cannot be more than one majority elements in an array. And for counting the num number of occurrences of each element, you can use hash table. Means the element will be the key for that hash table and the count of that element means the number of occurrence of that element will be the value of that hash table. So if you prepare the hash table, then the element will be the key and the count of that element that is the number of occurrences of that element will be the value. Okay. So you can use hash table for counting. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.